I live about 10 minutes away. I only make about two turns the whole way. It's a lot of farmland. We don't really have much to do here, but it's a really pretty place to live. I know there's not much, but it's really nice. I really like drawing more than painting because I feel like when I paint things it kind of messes it up sometimes, but I like to do watercolor a lot. When I was younger, it was kind of a tough time that I was going through and it really helped me get through it. Our county is very rural and our students don't get out of the county very often and so I feel like this class is one opportunity for them to sort of see life beyond the classroom walls through the eyes of an artist. I've always had the philosophy that it's not as much my job to teach the subject as it is to foster a love of pursuing some sort of personal interest and that there are so many different career options where being in creative thinking or an artist of any kind can assist you in making a better product or providing a better service, whatever it is that you're trying to do. I feel like there should be art everywhere. I feel like in lesser towns there's a lot of untapped potential. Like there could be people out there that are really, really artistic and they just have nothing to go with. They have like no money to get supplies. They don't have anyone to teach them like techniques and it's a little sad. <laughs> I think art is really important to have in schools. I feel like all creative programs are. Like, I feel like the focus on academics should be less intense and should, people should be allowed to express themselves in more creative ways. Because some people excel in more creative ways and if they weren't given an opportunity, they'd never know. They'd never know they had a talent like that. Art on its own can be practiced anywhere at home or on a bus or in a classroom on a notebook, but having a classroom environment and a teacher and having a program that really envelops you in it is very important. It fosters not only like a sense of creativity and learning and wanting to advance your abilities with it, but also friendships. Some of my best friends I've met through the art program and art club. It looks good for colleges as well, having being a part of an active and art club and National Honors Art Society and things like that. It's really important for personal growth as well. Having all these different things you can be a part of, all these competitions, all these chances to express yourself to other people. It's definitely like a safe space from all the other stuff because there's not much judgment in art and you're free to do pretty much whatever you want and it's such a good outlet from the rest of the world. I actually moved to this school for the art program here from my other school and it's, it's definitely helped me. Art is everywhere. Someone's got to make the advertisements that you see on the billboard. Someone has to make that CGI in your movie. Someone's got to make that music that you're going to listen to in the car. And someone's got to make the album cover for that music. If we don't have artists and if we don't encourage it in school, then there aren't going to be any artists to make all that beautiful stuff we see out in the world. I think we're just trying to encourage our community to embrace the arts and to encourage the arts in our young people and support the arts, whether that be financially or just coming and looking at the artwork when we have an opening or just taking the time to look at what your student has done at school and appreciate it a little bit. That just saying, wow, that's really cool. I can't believe you're the one that drew that goes a long, long way to encouraging a student to be willing to try. We live in a county that one is about 455 square miles, so it's a very large geographic county. We also live in a county of about 69,000 people that live in the county. It's large geographically, it's large as far as a number of people. We have about 10,000 students in our system, and so they don't get to go to Atlanta. They don't even get to go to Chattanooga, which is fairly close to us. So we have to bring that to them. I've seen over the years that I've been in education, this is my 21st year, that art has the ability to connect to students. So we're all about engaging them with opportunities that are part of the passion that they begin to feel as they're being educated in our system. I believe that every individual is a creative learner. We're just born with creativity and you might find it creative in engineering. You might become a creative manager where you have to manage a group of people. You might be a creative writer, a creative speaker, a dancer. So I think that we're all creative. It's just a matter of finding and helping children embrace that wonderful aha moment of look what I did, look what I made. And they don't have to, like I said, be an artist, but they'll have confidence 
to try other things that they've never tried. I love art because it's just been a thing in my life. Like whenever I'm sad, I draw. Whenever I'm happy, I draw. And I color. And I live on the mountain. And what I really like to see is the sun come up and come down because it gives me colors in my mind that I could draw from the sunset and the sunrise. I would like to be an artist whenever I grow up. It's like colorful and fun to do and it's like hands-on working and that's like what I like to do. It's I like better, it's like my favorite subject in class. It helps me with like imagination, it gives me inspiration. If there's something that you don't feel comfortable talking about, maybe like to your counselor, you can, they can ask you to draw it and then they might understand it better. Not only the problem solving skills I think are crucial to kids that get to experience art, but I think also the skills of understanding and having empathy for the world that they're in. So all of a sudden I've been able to have a child that maybe all they see is the school or the local shops or going to Walmart and home and TV and their cell phone, but now they can actually understand a whole nother culture and a whole nother group or why artists do what they do. I think a lot of our students are going to be first generation graduates from high school. That's a big accomplishment in their family. As a parent, I think they worry a little bit about what the future is going to look like for them. They all want them to be successful, some level of career path, some job to begin to support themselves. We have a lot of our students who are actually doing a lot of the supporting of their families now. They go out and work outside the house to help with siblings, to help with their parents. And so I think there's some reservation, at least stereotypically, when we think about art. So what we try to get them to see is art can manifest itself in so many different career pathways for their student. I believe that art is really the center of your being. We're human beings and we have so many different senses. And I think that all the creative arts just interact and communicate with all those feelings and express them in different ways. Whether it's physically dancing, whether it's two-dimensional using paint or gluing things on, whether it's, you know, just watching a movie and your emotions are interacting with that. And, you know, just all kinds of the human being, I feel that the creative arts just express us and help us grow and develop into the potential that we're meant to be. And especially in today's world where there is so much creativity needed and to work in collaborative groups in engineering and math and science and technology and in the arts fields, you really need that background. They need to be comfortable with that. There was an art where I came from. Right now, I like, I feel really happy with myself. We do fun stuff. I actually learn a little bit. I didn't learn anything when I was with my old school, but now I've learned a lot. We get to have fun, you know, do whatever we want, kind of, you know, it's art. Yeah. You can't mess up in art. It's really fun to express myself in art and just do fun things. You know, it relieves a lot of stress and things like that. Art makes me feel happy. It just expresses how I feel. You can just do whatever you want with it. It doesn't really matter what you do. You can, like, just express yourself. You get to create different stuff and you just get to use your imagination. It's wonderful that children, especially where I teach, we start at four years old. So it's, it really expands on the things that they learn about in their classroom. And the classrooms, I think, would be less impacting if they didn't have an arts quality to it. Our mission is to ensure all students graduate, so that's our first goal, and that's the accountability measure that we all look at. But the thing that we work the most on is the second part, which is ready for college, ready for work, ready for life. Those are the three components that we have to be successful at because they can graduate and we'll make sure they graduate, but we need to make sure that they're ready for whatever that next step is in their life. And if it's college, that's great. If it's a career, that's great. But ultimately, we want them to be successful in life. And so now we're getting to that point as a district where we're seeing the importance and the value of adding that component to our curriculum. I wanted to be a teacher and I was either going to be a science teacher or an art teacher so I guess in a way you could say that I was going to pursue art for my career. 
I interned at Chattanooga Valley Elementary School and my senior project had to be based on my pathway which was art so I decided to incorporate that into the elementary school and kind of um, I did my research paper on why art is important for kids and it's like healthy for them to learn and why they shouldn't take it out of schools because I know lots of places have taken art out of their schools and I think that's not a good idea so um, I taught an art lesson to the kids there in that class and I had them all draw me a picture and then I kind of recreated all of their pictures and then I laminated all of them and I gave them back to the kids so they could have them. I really want to push it into people's minds that art really is important for kids, especially like young children to, to learn and especially people maybe with disabilities, kids with disabilities really helps. Because they come to me with even Trinity came to me with no confidence that she was able to draw and you saw her work. She does beautiful artwork and it makes me happy to know that I'm not doing this for nothing. It's not just a job. There's beauty everywhere in this community. I just hope that our community will come out and support our visual artists who are trying to show us what they can do to bring some beauty into our lives.